Howdy dorks! Howdy howdy howdy! It's Unchowder time! It's space time! It's Dyson Sphere time! At in my lap time, so I'm like sitting a little bit further back time. Hi, uh, she's... She is settled in. Uh, and that'll last all of 30 seconds, don't worry about it. Um, hi! Hello hello! Uh, Dyson Sphere. We're gonna continue on our Dyson Sphere today. Um, kinda... Like we're we're mid scaling everything up, right? But we've also been mid scaling things up for like the last five streams. So you know, kind of, kind of more of the same. But I want to say it like we're just doing the same thing over and over again. It's like we're we're finding new things to 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 tweak and scale and and make better every time. It's just a holding process, ain't it? Um, hi JM, how's it going? Happy Monday. Um, I went out for a walk and I saw some real big trees, so now I'm all slightly happier than I was an hour ago. <laughs> Hooray! Um, walk, yeah, walks are great. I need I need to go for more walks. The The neighborhood we're in is like awful for, for just going out for a walk. Like there's no... There's just, there's, there's very little, I have, like I have to walk for half my my allotted time before I get to a place that's actually enjoyable to be in and not just a highway. It's real cool. Shite, but hey, it's chill time. I'm sorry to hear that. It is chill time. So I'm, yeah, hopefully, hopefully chill time will help cheer you up a little bit. Um, yeah. Um, today's episode is brought to you by Shadows, the thing that all planets will be cast in once our Dyson Sphere is complete and we have captured the sun. But also by you, clicking the buttons down there, liking and following and subscribing and all those doing, doing all the, 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 th the things, the things, the things. That's what's, that's what's casting shade on my grass right now. So I appreciate all of you. Um, and then, and yeah, and that's, that's, that's where we're at, right? Um, we're, we're kind of just going to get back into it. Uh, when we, when we last, ugh, sorry, I'm going to. I can get my mic a little closer, can I? When we last left off, we just got all of these, all these guns. Look at all this. Our our swarm is going strong once again. Um, we are working on building this gigantic ring around our star, but now we are also launching all of these sails. Look at this. Look at this. Good Lord. I know, right? It's only going to get bigger. This is, it's only going to get more ridiculous. Um, so this is where we're working on. Um, but same kind of situation we were in last stream. This this equator of our of our Dyson sphere is all we can build of our Dyson sphere so far. Um, we need to finish this upgrade right here that we've been working on for a while now. We need to finish that in order to be able to build up and down from from this line. Um, so that is still our number one priority it's been our number one priority for at least a full stream at this point um and you're you're all charging okay uh so yes finishing that research is issue number one um issue number two is that we're like out of power <laughs> we're getting 680 megawatts from our or our Dyson Sphere is producing 680. We're requesting 430 on our planet down here. And then we're and then we're using that to charge batteries, but like that's not enough. 430 is not enough. Hello, hello. Holy moly, the hive in the home system is getting grumpy. Oh no. Sounds like you're having fun. Or, or do you mean mine? Yeah, we're that is another thing. We're we're gonna get we're gonna get a space assault in our home system any minute now. Um, probably today. It's at ninety one percent. So I don't know I don't know how much longer they're gonna hold back. Um, but I think we've done everything we can do in this system. So our our first ta task is gonna be to return home. I kind of wish I could make more. Where's my, where's my buttons? Kind of wish I could make more ray receivers. 
but I mean I'm out of silicon. Uh, so I think I think we're, what we're gonna do we're gonna go home. Look at this. Look at this. Uh, are your defenses ready in the home system? That's an excellent question, ain't it? Um, I mean that's where we're that's where we gotta go. Actually, let's go. Let's go to sis, let's go to planet one first, and I'm gonna take up all of the ray receivers there because our uh, our swarm has decayed completely. So now there's ray receivers that are just doing nothing out there. Um, so let's let's fix that first. But yeah, I think we want to be in the home system if we're gonna get a, a space assault, <laughs> for sure. Ugh. Uh, not sure what to do now, maybe CK3. CK3 is always a good thing. I was looking for a bit when you were playing uh, last week. We were playing with some other people. It's a great game. I definitely understand like a third of it. But what I, what I like about it is I mean, I, I like watching other people play it because clearly there's there's a lot to understand and 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 do in that game. It's a very very intricate game. It's also good for like not having full control over what you're doing, right, or what's going on. Like you you can do a bunch of stuff and it's really complicated, but also things are just gonna happen and screw up all of your best laid plans. So you, you spend so much time just dealing with things. Nothing else you can observe what happens when the hive attacks. Yeah, that's true. The silly concept why I'm enjoying it. I mean, it's enjoyable, I think. Um, and then, of course, it's still going to take us two hops to get home. I would love, I would love to upgrade our thing, our, our whatchamacallit. And of course, they're just going to, they're just going to keep... Oh no, that's the... They're going to do a space assault in, in our charging system, in our Dyson Sphere system. That's... That's cool. They're already 80% of the way there. That's terrifying. We just started. Fortunately, we have shields and stuff on those planets, protecting everything that I really care about. But these are going to, like, hit at the same time, aren't they? That's unfortunate. Um, and then we're and we're just gonna sit here in empty space and charge our batteries for a bit. <clears throat> Ooh. Started as a vassal. Oops, it's squirreled. Started as a vassal in the only county the Byzantines have in Crimea, but I made a custom character in a weird cult of and Roman culture, slowly building up inside the empire. At any point, they can demand I convert. When I, re when I refuse, they then can arrest me legally and strip me of it all. Wow, interesting. Jeez. Yeah, like you have a lot of discretion about what happens inside your little sphere of influence, right? And then there's always someone above you. There's always a bigger fish, ain't there? Um, okay, I think can we get, I think we can get that far. I wonder if launching parts of the Dyson Sphere increases hive aggro. It seems like it. I mean, we were thinking, like, battery charging was part of it, too. But we're only charging... We're charging about as much or a little bit more than we were in our home system. Oh, that wasn't quite close enough. <clears throat> Dang it. But, like... But, yeah, I think that's going up way faster than just... Than just the battery charging, I think. Because we were charging batteries in our home system for several streams, for like maybe five or six streams. And we've only been building the Dyson Sphere for two. So yeah, I think the Dyson Sphere components themselves have must have a an influence over that. Uh we're still still 15 AU out. I think I can we'll just we'll just We'll do this under normal power. I'll take a couple minutes. It's fine. It's fine. So my little area, I'm in charge, but yeah, I'm having to do everything and try and befriend the Emperor. Yeah. Uh, 
wants the game to get me with 10,000 men and I had 1,000, but I died of stress. And he didn't have a reason to arrest my heir, so I got away with it. Hilarious. Wow. That's very, that's interesting. <laughs> <laughs> I like I like how you dying it counts as getting away with it. That's it's a great game for that. <laughs> That's still gonna take us five minutes to get there. Oh my gosh. I thank God I've died. Yeah, exactly. It's okay everyone. The king is dead. And the Emperor was pissed off at that one person, so now the rest of the country gets off scot-free. <laughs> Sounds like you should make friends with people who aren't fond of the Byzantine Empire, that's true. Um, I am gonna- I'm gonna warp 10 AU, that's such a silly thing to do, but... We are this close. We are at least in our system. Soon, but I need to build up first. Uh, yeah, that's always a thing, ain't it? Um, so then we have... Oh, I probably don't have... Oh, I can't build a station. Oh, but I need to, like... I can build a normal station, but I probably can't build... Oh, maybe I can. I guess maybe we can. Because um, we have a whole bunch of... Uh, what should we call it? It's just just the solar sails, right? They're all they're all just still here. Our previous launching site. Um, just take all these up and, and replace them with a couple big ones. Um, but we didn't have the spots within our logistics system to actually get them back off world, so. Uh, I'm gonna try to put down another station to do that. Who are you? You're just a yeah. You're you're the iron thing. You're all good. Already, look at how fast it's going too. This one might happen first. Now that we're not charging batteries in this system, I wonder how fast our our home system threat is gonna charge. Is this where I need to go? Come on. There we are. Okay. It's like, it's just, it's like we're watching it go up. 83.5. It was at 81 when we were in space just a second ago. Uh, I will read, I will read all of these sagas, but uh, I'm gonna also focus a tiny bit. Um... Right, I'm gonna do that. My and my little chat box is so narrow now. Um, religion is pretty cool. Mesol Mesolianism. Okay. Can I just do that? Let's just do that. Um, and then these are all battery chargers, which are not. I guess some of these are doing something because we have so much geothermal here. We should continue charging some batteries here just because we have all that geothermal, but I'm going to take like most of these. Yeah, that's that's fine. And I'll just pick all of this up. Sadly, they are very <laughs> incest. To matter to mirror Adam and Eve, interesting. As you do, I guess. Same sex relations are fine, sexual deviancy is fine, witchcraft is good, men and women are equal, lust is a virtue. Hey, I'm here for it. <laughs> I'm here for most of that. <laughs> okay, so that's gonna remain there and just do that forever. Um, we are shipping out iron from here. Uh, and we're receiving some dead batteries, so I guess I'm going to keep our, our dead battery pool.
pool a little bit smaller. I guess 2,000 is probably fine. Uh, but we're still gonna, sh like, send out some batteries from here every once in a while. And then I want... I would love to just make another one of these. And then we'll we'll send out our our leftover sails. Uh, and then that will probably get removed later too. Uh, and that'll take a minute. Wow. Cool. At 85. This is that's ridiculous. This this one's gonna happen first. Uh, that are the old marry marry into succession. Always a good strategy. Apart from the incest, <laughs> I'm pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> need to blackmail them into accepting it yeah that's fair all of the the intrigue stuff in that game is really really good i really enjoy that just reform it out yeah just reform it out it's a fixer up religion it's got it's got great room to grow <laughs> byzantine empire is notoriously unstable so i reckon i reckon it's only a matter of time before i can break away or seize the throne interesting Had a lot, a lot of fun trying to play as Daruama of of Dara. I don't, I'm not familiar with that. Goodness, look at this. And then where's? And they're they're assaulting. Okay, so they're assaulting the planet, but that's just gonna be a ground assault. Hopefully, that's all good. Looks like things are getting blown up. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so that's fine at least. Um, so then this is just going to go right there. And I'm going to make a conveyor belt that goes in. And this will take solar sails and they will local demand and remote supply. Um, and then, and then you need ships and some ships. All good. And then you also need space warpers. You just do like that. And do like that. And now those space warpers will make it out to our actual launching apparatus. Hooray. Perfect. Okay. So now let's go home. Home, home. Of course, if they're going to attack, they're going to attack. I mean, do they attack every planet at the same time? I really don't know how... I really don't know how this is going to work. We have to deal with, Are we going to have to deal with two space assaults in one stream? That'd be quite the thing, wouldn't it? She leads a tiny African nation, but has a pile of interesting traits. Starts out with female first inheritance, and you can reform the religion, Bori. Interesting. You did that run. Interesting. Female inheritance is actually really stable, as you are always sure who your kids are. Wow. Isn't that a thing? <laughs> Look, 87%. It's gonna... Oh. Oh, no. Oh no, oh no. Care for the witchy ladies leading Africa? Yeah, totally. Yeah, I definitely, I'm definitely interested to hear how that goes. I'm like, like how a lot of people are with Dwarf Fortress, where like you're more interested in the stories that come out of it than you are, like not that I'm not interested in playing it, but like, since I'm not very good at it yet, uh, I definitely enjoy hearing the stories of other people's stuff. Um, okay, so then the main thing we're dealing with here, I mean, A, power, because of course. Um, but I really want to make these better missiles. Um, we're making missiles here, right? Because I did research them, I'm pretty sure. I'm not going to be able to do this fast enough to actually respond to our... Our, our invasion probably yeah so I so we have this 
So it takes normal missiles plus other things. Okay. So I would love, I would love those to work. Um, but again, we we have minutes. We have minutes until the until our our Dyson Sphere system is getting assaulted. So that's really, really cool. Um, so this is this is the missiles themselves, right? So this is this is where we're making missiles. Um, I'm gonna need another small station, which is gonna require all sorts of things. Uh, I think I think by the time it says 95, I think we need to be in transit to to that system. Um, and then of course it's going to require okay so we have we have spots in here we can make this work um and we're we're cranking through our our chips again and those things are a thing forever probably going to have to restart my latest attempt ended when egypt decided they were in charge <laughs> I mean, they kind of, I think they were powerful enough to just kind of decide that, weren't they? Oh, and I learned a thing. Okay, so once we're, like, once we're okay, once we're safe again, if we're ever safe again, um, I learned a thing that we can do to help with our, our strange matter and our space warpers. But that's going to take a little bit more fiddling than we have at the moment, because... They are... they're on their way. Okay, so I can build that. Continue. No way, that's how the story of how I actually got a game over when an actual empire went to war with my queendom. Yeah. Yeah, there aren't a whole lot of actual game overs, are there? Like your your person dying is the only real one, right? I had an issue with the Pope crusading me. Hmm. <laughs> Christian Kingdom of Africa. Hmm. Hmm. -hmm. Talk about turnabout. Killed him, so all good. <laughs> Hope boss fight in CK3 is... <laughs> it's no joke, yeah. <laughs> um, okay, so then I'm gonna need... It's just gonna be a single... A single factory, right? Um, here's... Oh, those are the shells. I want... I want these. Supersonic missile set. So it's an assembler with four inputs. Goodness. Uh, so we're just gonna go like right, like right here, basically. And then I need to put down a thing. And then instead of the missiles getting sent, I guess I kind of want, I want these to all like come back, right? I'm gonna reverse this. And then kind of do this. That didn't quite work, did it? Oh, because I would have to reverse. Can I just reverse these? Not really. Whatever. Uh, we'll just we'll remove the whole thing. And then we're going to kind of do the same thing. Uh, but we're going to go into here. Yeah, look, it's already, it's already passing. Oh. Uh, what I do, a tier two, which I am now out of. That was real cool. Um, okay, so then I also need to make the assemblers, don't I? Uh, this is gonna cut it close. If I can just make like a handful of missiles for myself, I think that will be useful. Um, 
so we're gonna do missiles and chips we need chips demand um and then i need those what was the other what was it and these the explosive units which are nearby and then the thruster the normal thruster which we have to put on the network this is gonna be this is gonna be a little close this is gonna be close for comfort so you do that and then those two things are gonna come out right so then i want to do like this and like this and then the explosive units are these other engines explosive units are over here so i'm just gonna all of this should be bulked out but for right now right these are these are these are explosive units combustible units are right, those are the same things right explosive unit no that's different explosive unit takes combustible unit oh no there's a whole extra step. Crap. <laughs> okay. Uh, it's gonna... Oh, no. Oh, no. It's a whole extra step. It requires sulfur and plastic? Uh, so I could do... Can I make another of these? Not really. Okay, so we want sulfur and plastic. Oh no. Oh no. Which means another another factory, right? Just uh and then that was three components. It's three ingredients. Uh, so I'm going to put this here. Need more assemblers. Oh no! Oh no. <laughs> if these are going to hit at the same time, we're so screwed. After all this. After, after all this, it's going to come down. It's going to come down to this. Okay, so there's... Oh, I need, I need iron. Oh my god. Uh, oh, there's iron in here. And of course our power is just gonna like be struggling this whole time as well. Just as a bonus. Just as a neat little side issue. Um, okay. So then this... These are these are the explosive units, so I'm gonna I'm gonna make a little splitter in here. So that's gonna go there. And then you go there. Right, because you're making me come. Boss. No, where's the other one? Where's the other one? It's... Where do you make it? Made in chemical facility? Hold... Hold your... Hold on. Why is that a chemical facility? Oh no! <laughs> We're so screwed. We're so screwed. Uh, and it's a chemical with three ingredients, right? Yeah. Wow. Okay. Um, but I can put it, I can just barely put it there. And then I can plug you in here. And then the other two ingredients are coming out from here. Sulfur and plastic. Oh, this is awful. Now we're at 95% here, too. 
Okay, so this is just gonna come straight across. Uh, all right. And then this does the same thing. Can I, can I squeeze in here? Oh man, that's a, that's a fit. Okay. Now just, now just build all the things, please. Except we're gonna be, do we even have sulfur on the network? I don't even know if sulfur's on the network. <laughs> oh, this is, this is suddenly not chill. <laughs> Um, okay, so then you need to be making me explosive units. Please and thank you. At least I have all this junk on me. Uh, but then we need to make sure that sulfur and thrusters are getting to our logistics. Okay, 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 okay. We're good. We're gonna, we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. Okay, so thrusters are here, and these can just fit in here. Uh, right, they are there. And that will supply just like some. And that's just literally going to go in. All right. And then sulfur is over here somewhere. Now maybe, or no, that they switch spots. It's up at 97. Oh no, I thought that the top one was was still us. Uh-oh, we need to be leaving. We need to be leaving. I don't think there's sulfur on the network. It's just going from there to there. Uh-oh, uh, this, that can clearly just go away, but then this can be sulfur supply like that. And then, uh, I just need to like take out and go and go in and then and then hope that it happens. We need to be leaving, though. I have I have some normal missiles. I have a couple of ships. I have some of those. I have fuel. I think I have all that we're going to have and we need to be leaving right now. We need to go. We need to go. We need to be we need to be 20 light years from here. Uh, did that did that work? Yes. Okay. Let's go. Let's just go. We still can't make it there in one jump. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Let's go. 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 Come on. I'm like still stuck in still stuck in our our gravity well. There we go. Oh no. I didn't. And we're still just at 91% in our home system. Look how fast that is increasing. We've been playing for half an hour and we've watched it go 20%. That is bonkers. Hmm. Do I have, oh, I do have. Can I just toss that in there? That's supposed to make things faster, right? Uh, I want to even have some some extra missiles here. Oh, geez. Well, at least we're bringing some some more solar solar receivers with us. They're yeah, we're at ninety nine point two percent, and and we're not gonna make it there in one jump. Super super cool. Hold your breath, everybody.
Oh, what's that? Where are you? Uh, okay. Oh, did we just pass just just in the neighborhood? <laughs> oh, 99.6. And then, yeah, yeah, we're still four light years away. And they're 0.3% away. 0.2. Uh, yeah. We're just going to be sitting here while it happens. There's nothing I can do. There's nothing I can be like... Like, this is already the fastest fuel, right? 100%. Yep, there we go. Launching assault. Five vessels coming. And we don't even know... Can I even see? View. Is that, is that this? Because we... So we're only on planets one and two. This is going... Like, that's going to three. That's going to four. Is it... Is it this? I wonder if it's that. Which makes it look like it's going... to number two? I'm not seeing five vessels. What was that? Oh, was that a... <laughs> was that one of our, our ships? Well, at least they have to travel through space, too. They don't have warp speed. I think this is... That's got to be the thing we're, we're worried about, right? Or is there... Okay, there's five vessels there. There they are. Okay. So they are headed to... It's got to be this planet, right? It seems like they're only headed to one planet. Okay, can we... Can we beat them there? They're literally mid-transit. Could be five vessels in the battle group. Yeah, I think it is. You had to zoom in real far. I wish I had better missiles. Would it be smart to, like, fight them in space? I wonder where the... I wonder what's smart here. We're still gonna be... Okay, well, that's, that's actually going to get us real close. Okay. So there's... There's our planet. There's the hive. The ships are out here somewhere. You had the equipment to fight in space, a la Corvettes. I have... I have... I have a destroyer. I have one destroyer and two backup destroyers, and that's literally all I have. My understanding is that they are big ships. Yeah, they're out. They're out here. They're, they're out here somewhere. There they are. I see them. I see them. That does sound like it could be good. Okay. I mean, I have... I've. They are not battle-tested at all. I mean, I could, like... I could go buzz them. I don't know where I'm going to meet them. This is interesting. This is not... I haven't had to think, like, tactically like this in this game before. We are literally both converging on the planet at the same time. <laughs> but it is interesting that they are... They're clearly going to attack a single planet, right? I was worried that they were going to assault, like, two planets at the same time. Okay, so we're... We're getting there. If I can just, like... Harass them a little bit. I don't know how to... I'm assuming my space fleet is going to come out and do its thing on its own. Yeah, here we go. Whoa, okay. Well, they're doing, they're doing lasers. I'm doing missiles. That's all... that's all cool. They still have five vessels. Woo. They do... They do hurt. But now they're kind of... they're kind of scrambling, right? Uh, and now I need to turn around. Uh-oh. Is that them attacking me? Or is that... me attacking them? I need... 
I need to slow down. I need to land. I need to land. Please? Please turn. Come on. Come on, 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 come on. Just get on the ground. Just get on the ground. There we go. Okay. Okay, cool. We have... Oh, they're just a... They're just blasting me. They're blasting. But we have missiles going out, and I'm gonna hide in the shield. And then they're dead. Oh, look at that. Okay. Okay. Success. Success. Just our, even just our normal missiles, we're fine there. Okay. So that's good to know. A, they were able to shoot me with lasers from orbit while I was on the ground. And those hurt. They made, they made it like halfway through my shields and all that. Um, but clearly, you know, the shields are going to help with that. So you should be standing in a shield. Ideally. Um... Okay, so while we're here, since we since we came all the way out here, my gosh, um, let's head to our our charging planet. Look at our swarm. We already have a whole dang swarm here, don't we? I sort of should have waited to. Ch I should have charged my batteries a little bit more. Oh well. Um, but now we're gonna have to go deal with the exact same thing in our home system. Look at this! But look at our... Look at our stuff. We have this giant swarm. We have this giant ring. Everything is so good. Who here is battle-tested against space hive combat? It's true. I mean, I am now. Did they even fight my ships? Did my ships do anything? I mean, I still have a ship. I didn't actually see it do anything, though. I don't know if I got close enough or did things right or what. I was kind of hoping that things would just happen. But... Once again, the Saitano Circus has saved our butts. So... More, more points for that. <laughs> and here we are. This makes me feel like I've overprepared on my fortress world. I mean, that was literally the first one, though, right? That was a level. That was a level zero hive. Who knows what they can do from there? Our, our homes our home hive is already level one so I'm I'm wondering if it's gonna be a bigger assault or if the fact that it's the home hive means it's gonna be less can I fit I can let's just do or except you know actually correctly um, but this will help us charge just get a Let's get a little more rays going. Oh, but this is too close because of the because of this. Okay, there we go. And the the signal tower acts as a power thing anyway, so well, that's all good. Um, and so it leaves me with four. What an awkward number. Let's just do one, two, three, four. There. Charging even more now, or receiving more now. Check on the status of my ships. I mean, well, now the one's gone. It was there a second ago. Do I have to like manually put, or no, space. Because, because it, okay, interesting. Um, but like this, I'm assuming, like what would it look like if it were partially injured, I wonder. I assume it would tell me in, in some way. Um, we're still not using the full capacity of our, of our battery chargers which is great. 
Um, I do have a couple more, don't I? I have another six. I could do... What if I do this? I take this and I'm gonna... Oops. We're just gonna duplicate. Yeah. No, what is... You are not colliding. It's because... Eh? Why are you being this way? I tried not to get this... This conveyor belt because it's on the wrong... Hello, Radu. Oh, hi! Is that ship a space ice cream sandwich? I think so. <laughs> Welcome in! Um, we just got... We just kicked some space fog butt, um, and and I'm only minorly surprised. Um, and I'm trying to trying to duplicate this while we're here, but it don't want to. Nice, 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 nice. Yes, yes. <laughs> um. So this is. Oh, I mean, I should look up. Here's here's the start of our Dyson Sphere. There's our sun. This is our sphere. And then you see out here, these are all a whole bunch of solar sails that are in a swarm configuration. You can see here's our whole thing going on. Um, here's the here's our ring. Here's our swarm. All of its charging power. We're already at 1.32 gigawatts of charging power. Um, and then we're receiving that power on the ground here. Um, this planet is special because it's a tidally locked planet, so that means this side of the planet is always facing the sun, which means these are always in line of sight with the Dyson Sphere and will receive power forever. And then that power is being used to charge batteries, and then I'm shipping those batteries to all of our other systems to charge everything else that we're doing. That's the main thing that's going on here. Um, and I want... I'm gonna... I am going to put down the ones that we have just because we're here um, and we'll we will grow into them. And of course, I of course, I didn't bring didn't bring more which my who's it's or I guess I guess the order of operations here is to do this. All right, we'll do one. Hmm. Who could have done it? Luckily, my sister intrigue will keep any other attempts on your seven-year-old's life. <laughs> Is we're also talking about Crusader Kings. I bet you the things are just too close to each other. I bet you that's what it is. It's just our, our grid alignment being weird. How can I make more of these? Thank goodness. One there, and one there. And one there, and one there. And say all of these are for charging. Sorry if I'm not reading everything right this moment. Uh, I just want to get. I want to get back in space. <laughs> I want to get back home. Uh, so we want dead batteries coming out of here. The live batteries come out. And they go back in. And then I'm gonna take down these just so I can make everything symmetrical and fancy. Oh, uh, so yeah, hi Radu, how are you? Uh, I don't think I've seen you in my stream before, uh, but this is this is what we're up to. We're we're chilling and we're making ridiculous space things. Oh, this is like just enough. Let's do one here and here and here. Good, I'm chilling. Good. Chilling's really the name of the game, ain't it? Is that not a foundation required? There's a little hole there. 
Ahaha! It was sneaky. Uh, and then I'm just gonna put down another pair, I guess. Since we have them. Uh, and then another uh, splitter. There we go. Where am I? Not usually awake this early. Oh, this is early? <laughs> are you... I mean, I'm, I'm not gonna fry location details, but are you... Are you in a non... U.S. place? Are you uh, a non... Uh, uh, on a different sleep schedule? <laughs> Uh, and then, so these all get their batteries, right? Charge, 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 charge. I'm a non-daytime human, gotcha. I have at times been a non-daytime human, but I am currently a daytime human. Uh, and that'll just meet over there. Yeah. Yeah. Now these are all at like half the rated power. We could be receiving twice as much power as soul charger batteries. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. Um, I think that means we're good here for the moment. I put down... I have a bunch of dead batteries in my inventory. Because of course I do. And now I can't put them anywhere. Now they won't fit! Uh, so those are my inventory now. Um, you have your your stuff. You have your stuff. I think we're good. And we have our shield. We have a shield here. I can like I can look at our shields, right? I have I'm shielding all of our important stuff. And then our charging. We are currently charging at 480 megawatts. That is lovely. And we're and our our thing is producing 1.32. Gigawatts. We're requesting 696 megawatts. Uh, but we're the key thing is that we're charging at 546. Or no, we're charging at 478. Which I think is verging on the amount of power we need for our home system. I don't think it's quite there yet. Alright, we went blew through a lot of our power. Okay. But it is making it is making up for lost time, I think. And then are we are we still launching our sales? I'm not seeing more more sales come out. How long until you have the power to time travel? That would be something, wouldn't it? Um, it's at least uh, what was it like thirteen gigawatts. So a couple more, <laughs> a couple days. <laughs> Like how the shield makes it look like your planet has big bug eyes. That's true, don't it? It's like, um, <laughs> can I, can I, I don't know that I can rotate. Like big goggles. <laughs> um, all right. I'm going to assume that everything is good here. And we're going to go home again. Uh, so then, yeah, I'm gonna go... I'm gonna go here. 1.21, that's right. I was off by an order of magnitude. That means we're awfully close, though. Okay, so now... So I can't time travel, but I can go light speed. Oh, that would be more dramatic if it actually works when I press it. There we go. Light speed! <laughs> Okay. Now I can scroll with chat. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, let's see. Sister with 30 intrigue got overthrown by my cousin in this duchy, but now he has died mysteriously, and she's she's the regent of this seven-year-old. Excellent. Wow.
Crusader Kings is great. Uh, all right. So then, so then, yeah. I mean, in theory, our Dyson Sphere is generating that much power. We just need to just need to get a DeLorean. That's all. But like, what was? Oh, that's not what I meant. That was the wrong button. Uh, but we're that's fine. We'll just sit here and charge a bit. Um. But yeah, I'm not seeing more sales being launched. We just launched them all in one big chunk like that. That's interesting. So we really, what really needs to happen, um, like we were talking at the start of the stream, we need to finish this research. Because uh, currently all of those solar sails have their, their max lifetime and they'll start decaying. And a clock tower to hook it up to, that's true. I don't think we have any clock towers. We just have like missile launchers, <laughs> which aren't quite the same. Um, but we need to finish this research in order to have a spot for those sails to plug into. And once they get, once they're able to plug into the Dyson Sphere directly, they stop decaying. Um, so that will make our our resource generation that much more efficient. Um, so that's that's like that's the primary goal. Now that we've fended off a dark fog swarm assault, what do you even call it? Put them on a timer good enough. <laughs> That's one thing that this game doesn't do. And I don't know if it's something... I don't know if it's a pro or a con. Um, but like comparing it to Factorio. Um, you know how Factorio has... Like all the circuitry. And all the... Like you do all sorts of computer logic and stuff in Factorio. That's one thing you can't do here. Um, like I can't... I can't do set up a bunch of logic to say like this turns on when this turns on. It's all... It's all just on. Um, and you have to like manually disconnect things from power in order to, to turn them off again. Um, so like timers and, and things like that would be... It'd be cool. But also I think this game has enough. Yeah, the circuits. The circuits are fun. I always enjoy it when games have like circuitry, like all the redstone stuff in Minecraft. I really, really enjoyed all that stuff. But like... It's a lot. <laughs> And here we are, in empty space again. Our batteries aren't big enough to make that whole jump all at once yet. So we kind of have to sit here and charge our batteries a little bit. Um, oh, but I learned, I learned something about, um, what was it, about graviton lenses? Or no, about, about space warpers. Yeah, about space warpers. There's an alternate recipe for making space warpers that I never internalized. And I... It's weird, but I think we're going to have to do it. Because what happens is... Yeah, so like you make... We make graviton lenses, right? We make graviton lenses and then we combine graviton lenses with quantum chips to make green science. But you can take you can take one graviton lens and turn it into one space warper or you can take a green cube and turn it into eight space warpers. Which means, you know, one graviton lens into a space warper or one graviton lens and a chip into eight means you can turn a quantum chip into seven space warpers. Which I, I think that's going to be what we have to do. Um, and now we're like an awkward distance away. Here's our home system. Of course, I left something damaged out there. Oh, well. It seems fine.
Okay. Home sweet home. Are AU short for astronaut units? Astronomical units. Very, very close. Um, one AU is the... It's a real-life measurement. Um, geez, our power. <laughs> um, a, AU is a real-life measurement. It is the average distance between our Earth and our Sun. Is one AU. Uh, so, like, if we look... Like, our planet to our sun is 0 .9, 0 0.9 AU. Which is interesting because this is our second planet. So our second planet is a little bit closer to the sun than the Earth is to our sun. Fascinating. Yeah, you can learn a lot of science in this game. This game has a lot of, a lot of real stuff in it. There's definitely some fiction in here. There's definitely, there's definitely some, some extra stuff. Uh, but this is quite based in in reality as far as that goes um and then as far as batteries i'm hoping oh where are you all oh because this is full okay we need we need a place for the dead batteries to go so that the charged batteries can discharge that's a thing we're just we're just choked in dead batteries we are still, like, we're low on charged batteries, but not out. Okay, there they go. We also need more, but we're at 100% here. I think that's fine. We are going to go, we're going to crank through them, though. Holy cow. Holy cow. And then these are all out of fuel. That's also part of it. We were burning hydrogen, but we phased out of hydrogen fuel because uh, we're, we're thinking about switching to deuterium. I'm actually going to leave these here just as an emergency backup. Uh, but turning hydrogen into deuterium is an energy intensive process. And it's also... Like, what is it that... These are needing... Titanium? Titanium alloy? Really? That's not the thing we've been short on previously. Let's make sure that those are working. Uh, you say that now, now they're gonna add the soul system in the game, but Earth is gonna be a disc. <laughs> that would be... that would be hilarious. That would be pretty funny. I wonder if anyone's made, like, a Flat Earth mod for this game. That'd be funny. Okay, I mean, this is... this is the thing, right? This is the thing we're short on? Clearly need to be making more of these. Um, and it's gonna be because of sulfur, because we're using sulfur for other things now, too. We should just find a planet with sulfur oceans. The sulfur we're making from oil. And it looks like we could be making more. We would need more more water? Or no, not water. We need more stone. Goodness. Um Yeah, so in the meantime, since we need it right now, and since it's for fuel. I am going to expand this. Just a, just a, just a scooch. Of course, I need more. Chemical facilities. And then it's running low on rocks? How the heck do you run out of rocks? Right? It's just not... It's probably just not outputting fast enough. Hey, look at this. I'll just... Uh, upgrade. Of course, I don't have... Tier two conveyors. So I'm gonna have to go grab some of those. But I 
think that's otherwise fine. And then we'll just, we'll have to make sure we grab some, a planet with a sulfur lake, which I feel like I've seen some. We just haven't colonized any. Just grab, just grab some of everything. Fill my inventory with, <laughs> with conveyors. Uh, but now we're. Power is almost okay. Power is not quite fine. I think it's funny how different our priorities have been in our own games. That's probably very true. Uh, what, what specifically are you thinking of? I, I'm sure there's quite a few. Um, I'm gonna do a tier two belt like this. I've got a tidy little factory making tier three conveyors and connectors. I have that too. I don't know if I'd call it tidy. I haven't technically unlocked purple cubes yet. Oh, that's fair. What do you mean technically? <laughs> okay, and you're all still getting yellow dots. Do you just need more? You need better sorters. Doo -doo. Doot. 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 It's the current research. That's the magic of games like this. No two bases are the same. I know, right? Even even like you playing twice, right? It's it's completely different. Okay, that will make sulfur a little bit better. Which will in theory help with this stuff. Still not still not great, but it's not going to be until we find a, a lake of sul a sulfur lake. I'm not going to triple that. Um, that all seems fine. I want to make sure that our our fancy missiles. We're we're working on these fancy missiles, right? And look at all this. We are we are mining. We are mining our planet dry. Definitely went out of my way to make my infrastructure factories this time around. I think I put off my like my um, my tier two and three conveyors and sorters. I think I put that off a little longer than I maybe should have. Um, oh, because this is outputting. This is a chemical factory that's not outputting fluids. Hilarious. Okay, so this isn't clearly isn't doing anything yet. It needs to output to a chest. I suppose. And then these need to go over there. Probably like this. Can I go under? I can go under. And then over. And then, yeah. Yeah. When you transport hard product, do you need escorts for them? Um, it hasn't been a thing. So the 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 enemies in this game are from the most recent update. Um, so my understanding is that like there's gonna be more stuff in the future that we have to deal with. Um, currently, my my logistics vessels don't get attacked. Really, the only attacks that they do. Like each system, not all systems, but each system that has an enemy presence will have a hive out in space like this, um, and it will and it will launch things to to the planets. Um, probably no provisions for it yet. Not yeah, I'm thinking not yet. Um, but they'll do. But they'll, the hive will do two things. Um, it does one thing much more commonly than the other. It will send out 
a little device basically to a planet and then that will create a little base on the planet and the base will start producing ground units and then those ground units will kind of reach some some threshold and then the like you can see it's about to happen uh how out there on back on the planet we were just at where we're where our dyson sphere is they're about to launch a ground assault because apparently they've put down another base um but our, our defenses there can take care of it we have a bunch of missile launchers and shield generators and stuff and that'll that'll take care of it um so they'll do that and then they'll they'll try to put down their little bases they'll try to attack your stuff and then if you knock off their bases, like if you kill their base, they'll, they'll keep trying to put bases down. And they'll, they're just doing that forever. They've been doing that since day one. Um, we're not getting thrusters. Okay. Also, you don't have a recipe. Um, but then the other thing that they do, uh, much more rarely, is what you saw right, right when you showed up, um, if you saw it. But, the, but they'll launch a space assault where the hive actually sends ships down to a planet to attack from space. Um, but like that takes a lot longer for them to, to build up their, their threat meter. Um, and so far that's all they do. Um, like they're, they don't, they are not in empty space, you know, harassing our vessels out there. Um, they're just attack, they're like just attacking the planets themselves. And they'll attack anything on the planet. Uh, but not the but not the vessels as far as I can tell. Um, I want this to make these. Uh, and then I want to figure out why thrusters haven't shown up here. I think they said they weren't planning on having dark fog attack logistics vessels because there's a that's a nightmare to defend against. Just ask Britain in any world war. I guess that's fair. I mean, I appreciate it. Um, it would be kind of cool. I don't, I don't know if I'd call it cool. Like, why aren't these... Why are you not going in? Why are you... Are these the right things? Reinforce... This is the wrong thruster. I plugged in the wrong thruster. These thrusters. <laughs> but like, if you had to do, um, like if if it were something that I didn't have to take care of manually, like if I could say, um, like here's here's a here's a logistics station that's sending out ships to other star systems, and then I supply it with little fighter ships, like the real the real basic ships. Um, and then so that way I can say like, okay, every logistics vessel goes out with five fighter escorts. And then that, and then that happens automatically. And like some, like, you know, that was sometimes defend against an assault and maybe sometimes that's not enough. I think that would be cool. That would be, it'd be more to deal with. But I think that'd be interesting. Yeah, maybe not cool, but accurate. Yeah. Yeah, there's there's always that balance between accuracy and, and playability, right? Um, if it were like, if you were having to manually escort all your logistics vessels, it would be a nightmare. But if you're, we're just talking about, you know, having to put in, having to make more ships, having to make more vessels that do things automatically. I think that'd be cool. Just more stuff to automate. All right, let's see if that's actually making our fancy missiles. Looks like it is. Very good, very good. Supersonic missiles. So now I want these missiles to replace all of the missiles that we've made so far. Um, that... That's just local stuff. So then I want to put it out there. Why is this? This does not need this does not need to be interstellar stuff. OK, so we can simplify a little bit here. 
I would 100% play Dyson Sphere Fleet Command, right? Exactly. Exactly. I'm all about that fleet composition and patrol route nonsense. I think that would be cool. Like, if that were a thing that we had enough control over to make that fun, I think that could potentially be very fun. But obviously, we're not quite there yet. Um, so what's going to happen, I'm going to basically recall all of our remote normal missiles. I'm going to remote demand all these missiles. I guess I don't want the missiles going in directly, do I? Um, so this, so this goes away. Uh, but we're going to, we're going to recall all those first tier missile sets from all of our colonies and we're going to plug them back in and we're going to turn them into the better missiles and then we're going to ship them back out. Uh, so what I think needs to happen, I, I and I want to prioritize that, right? I want to do... This is also... It also bugs me very slightly. Um, I'm going to put down a sorter, or a, a splitter. I can even do one of these fancy layouts, right? There we go. Um, so this comes out and goes in. The normal missiles come out. I guess like this and then they merge come out like this and I'll prioritize this side so we will only make new missiles once we run out of all of our old missiles gonna just gonna back up right yeah so this will just basically this will fill itself and lay dormant until this is all empty and then our our new fancy missiles I want them for me too these ones are mine I'm gonna swap these out while I'm thinking of it I I like missiles. The missiles have been very good to us so far. This can go that can go down. Cool. We have we have a lot of missiles. Um and then we need to make sure that those end up in our our turrets here. Um, so I think if I were being responsible, I would remove them from from in there, right? Can I just here? I want them to go in here. And then I will reverse these. I get them all? I think it's gonna get them all. I don't know if it's gonna actually, does it actually empty? Okay, so they're gonna have, you know, what's... No, it says empty. Or no, okay, so they, they still have some missiles in them. Uh, but that's fine. Oh. There we go. Perfect. And we'll reverse these again. And then... 
Our missiles are going to come out. I should have a splitter here too, right? Yeah, we'll do like this. Uh, now it's going to go like that. And then you come out like this. And then you come out like... <laughs> oh look, spaghetti! Don't matter. So then you are going to prioritize that direction so that we always have missiles here on our home planet and then the rest will get sent out to everywhere else. And now we're out of processors? Oh no. How many times have we tried to fix our processor situation? Uh, and then I can fit... I can fit more. I want more. Okay. We have upgraded our missiles. And then I need to make sure that there's a spot in here for them. I'm gonna do that by increasing the spaghetti. All right, because I can move, and I only need to move one thing technically, but like these, these three don't need to be in this station. Uh, so I have copper. I mean, all three of those things, they're going various places. And then, and then that. Yeah, I think, I think over here is gonna work. I think, I think it's gonna have to. I'm gonna regret using this space later. Uh, but I want copper and coils and circuit boards. Oh, and you need, you need drones, but I'm out of drones. Uh, so we'll say local supply, local supply, local supply. And those will just empty out. And then, and then we have to figure out where they're all going, right? We have copper being split to here. Right, that's gonna go there. And then, and then you're there. And I go the other way. I do these one at a time for simplicity. We'll even do two whole separate lines for this. Uh, or I can do make that look a little less gnarly. So. Oop. Oop. There's one. Copper. Oh, fine. What do we do with spaghetti? Make more spaghetti. Alright, there we go. Almost. There we go. Okay, there's copper dealt with. 
And then we got coils coming out this way. Going right there. This is this is this could be better. Oh well. Go up. And then now you can't like scoot under those little humps. Um, I mean, we can do, we can do like this. Like that. Okay, so that's the coils. And then circuit boards go right there. So now we can say this no longer deals with those three things and instead is going to have our supersonic missile sets. Right? I mean, I'm just going to put it... Oh, this is just all the way up. Let's just... Uh, yeah, let's put this here. That's fine. Um is going to remote supply. And local supply, I guess. Um, and then that is good. That's good. And our inventory is now full. What did I drop? Did I drop? I dropped something. I dropped a single circuit board. Whatever. Um, I think we can say that our missiles are now upgraded, aside from the part where... Uh, you know, they get received on all of our planets, but we'll have to go to each one individually to, to set that up. And you know, our power... Power forever. Um, I have... I have some big ships. I'm gonna grab... I'm gonna try to grab... I have, I have more junk. I have too much junk. Where's my junk drawer? Where's my box of rocks? Uh, that's, that's all fine. Or some of this stuff I don't need. Oh well. Okay, I'll take a stack of drones, please. And then... And then what? I I think the space warper situation is probably what we need to address, because that's going to be a significant resource hog. This is... You still going? We just haven't quite... There it goes, and then there it goes. Okay, so we are now producing extra, extra missiles. Very slowly gonna show up in here, and then they will be available to be exported to other planets. And like our, what's our... Oh, we did launch some more. Okay. Look, we're up to 1.7 gigawatts, but we're also going to start losing going to start losing our our sales there. Okay. So I think that is I think that's our number one priority, making sure that this research completes 
which is going to be entirely dependent on green cubes. I think that might end up... I think we might be stopping rockets for a second. But it's going to be way more of a, of a waste of resources if we just keep making rockets but, like, decaying our, our solar sails. But, like, the titanium is going to be holding up our deuterium. I mean, we have we have deuterium. That's fine, at least. Um, this was the... Oh, this is the deuterium. Okay. But we're not making basically any. I wish you could launch missiles just for fun. See, I, that would be cool. I kind of agree. Okay, so presently we are we're making space warpers with our graviton lenses. And we are prioritizing space warpers over research. I think that needs to be the other way around. I think we need to prioritize green cubes with the graviton lenses and then turn the green cubes back into space warpers, which is bonkers to me. Um, but that's a that's still a one a one ingredient deal. I don't have a do I have an open slot in here anywhere? I have that and that. So that means well, it means that this isn't going to be a splitter situation anymore. This is just, these go to our science facility. And this is still, still mostly being held up by strange matter. And strange matter is held up by those things. And these aren't being held, these are being held up by a lack of builders. So actually we can, we can fix that a bit. Um, and I'm going to move it out here. <laughs> I guess we, we'll go like this. Um, and that's a three ingredient deal. Um, right, because I want all this space for battery dischargers. I want this space for other things. I'm just going to put this right here. Let's just do that. Uh, we'll just do like that. Let them let them finish what they're doing. Uh, but we're gonna basically all all three of the things here. This just goes back in. Easy. But now I can make this bigger. Oh, and like there's a there's an alternate recipe for these too. We need to go. We need to visit a black hole. We need to go visit a black hole. Bird music from Mask Video. I know, right? I I love all these songs. All the bird songs are fantastic. Okay. And then I'm going to make this bigger. And yeah, that's probably good enough. Cat stretch.
and see we're still just at 91% for our home system threat. Like it must be like probably the swarm, either charging batteries or, or launching solar sails must do a lot to, to increase that threat. Um, let's, let's upgrade some of these. Then I'm tempted to just do a whole new... I didn't disconnect anything, right? I'm just gonna do another row. So then, a thing, another thing, a third thing, and then the product. That should help a little. As long as we can maintain all of these things, this has been one of the things we've been struggling with for ever. So the fact that, that we're maintaining these levels is very encouraging. Put another 20 drones in there. Why not? I'm gonna be short one. Okay. And then if we can plug in monopoles, we can visit a black hole, start getting those materials, that this will all just be better. Because then we wouldn't need, like it skips needing the turbines and the graphene, which are, which are the hard parts. Clearly this just needs more of everything. I'm gonna do He's going to be important. I mean, look at him go. That's a lot more than we were making a second ago. And that's going to help our strange matter, right? These are all these are all going. These are all going. Okay, so that's going to help because those turn directly into graviton lenses. So our graviton lenses are now headed out. And then we're going to need to bring green cubes back. It's ridiculous. Um, and we're currently using, I think I'm going to wait until like we've finished this because like that's, that's going to be the important thing ultimately, but, um, mostly I just need to route this over. Is that not, that don't work. go uh, here. Yeah. And then I need to change the recipe on these to be the other one. Kind of trusting that we have enough space warpers made out in the universe right now that nothing's gonna shut down <laughs> in the next 10 minutes 
Um, but I don't have any actual... Uh, I don't know for sure that that's the fact. That that's the case. Okay, so then that's that's good. So now let's go up to where the green cubes are being made. Which is the science land. Welcome to science land. And now... So, and of course, all the green cubes are going to science. And I don't even know that I have an empty spot in here. I have one empty spot. So this is going to be supplying green cubes. And... And, like, how do I prioritize like I want spice workers are more more important in the long run but like I don't want all the green cubes to just go to space workers right maybe I'll wait until this is complete like it's going it's it's working right the whole stack is going and it has it has materials it has it has graviton lenses here maybe I'm gonna let I'm gonna let this finish and then our green cubes are going to turn into space workers. It is so strange. It is it's such a strange recipe to me. Uh can I just doop 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 there we go. Okay. And it's getting it's close. We just need another 200. Another 200 green cubes, and then I, th I think we're good. And then our, and then our swarm can start being not a swarm. And that's the most important thing today, I think. Um, and I'm gonna run to the restroom real quick while these these green cubes continue their thing. Uh, so so enjoy enjoy the light show. I'll be right back. Okay, back. And look, we're almost there. It's just two, 200 green cubes, that's it. And then, like the rest of these cubes should be fine, right? Um, if we can get, I mean, the other, the other, like the next thing is gonna be those fuel rods, right? So maybe, maybe finding a sulfur planet is our next task. Cause, cause those fuel rod, if nothing else, those are my fuel rods. <laughs> I, I want those. Um, and like, look, our, our processors are, are running low again because our silicon is running low again. Are we, are we just low on, on silicon ore again? I mean, always, apparently. We have silicon ore, but not silicon ingots, which means we're not smelting fast enough, which is a problem I can fix. Thank goodness. Finally, reasonable problems to have. Of course, I'm just making the power situation worse every time, everything I do. Everything I do here is, is kind of making things worse. Uh, I'm just gonna copy and paste and I'm not gonna I'm not gonna worry about covering up a uh, 
uh, an oil thing. I think we're fine on oil. I'm gonna bury it. And then there we go. And then, oh, but you're, you have all your spots being used. That's unfortunate. So I need to make I need to make another little another station. Or do I make another big station so that well I mean this is this is not using all of its ships. Okay. Uh, clearly I need more chests. Needs more bricks? Wow. Be hilarious if you finished researching the Dyson Sphere stress system and it just played the opening cutscene. <laughs> I kind of feel like it. I feel like we're still just getting started. Get an achievement about finishing the cold open. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the you get like the 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 title across the screen. Now that you've finished the tutorial. Okay, so then I need guess what? Particle containers. Which are this way? Yeah, they're over there. Tutorial bot starts walking you through basic particle physics. <laughs> Jeez, and but we're still using them all. And we and we've already run out of turbines. That didn't take long, did it? That sure didn't take long. And it's just gonna be it's just gonna be iron, I bet. This should be way down. Not that they'll ever fill this. I need like 20. Oops. I need 20. There we go. gonna plop this down right there gonna give it 50 drones just right off the bat you're gonna demand silicon ore. you're gonna provide silicon ingots and ingots go in. Look at that. Holy cow. You still have... I mean, geez, now we have that much just in space. <laughs> in transit. Wow. Okay. And titanium still seems fine. I mean... There we go. It has been completed. Perfect. Okay. Um, I'm going to duplicate this again, just while I'm here. Uh, 
you know, just another production line for the road. And we'll say, or out. You go back in. Out of, I'm out of Mark II conveyors. <laughs> well then, those are over by the science anyway. Uh, right over here. Okay, so now I'm going to prioritize green cubes for space warpers and hope I don't regret it. See, that's not even, I have to like manually. I want to set the priority. I have to do it with one of these splitter things. Nope. Okay, so then you go that way. And then those extras are just gonna, you know, wait for the next thing that we queue up, but... Okay. So now green science is going... back to our... <laughs> back to our space warper situation. Hopefully that helps with, like, some... Some of the power stuff too. I mean, it's just, it's a more efficient recipe. It's just more complicated. Oops. A lot of ore. I'm glad to see a lot of ore. We're getting silicon from several different planets at this point. Okay, that looks like it's working. Gonna take a bit for it to catch up. I think we're we were probably starved on silicon for a little bit. Uh, but titanium is clearly fine. Uh, these are clearly fine, though. We're using our diamonds. We're gonna have to address that someday. We're fine on iron and copper. Fine on iron and steel and magnets and copper ingots. Okay, that's all fine still. Thank goodness. See, we're solving different problems every time. It's just a very similar problem solving process each time. And then these, we were, we we're coming up short on these again, but these have all their inputs. Like look at all these motors we're making, motors and coils. And then you are stopped on super magnets? Holy cow. I've never seen the super magnets at capacity before. Um, I'm even gonna just crank that up just so that like it keeps going. Um, even though it uses these. But then that means that like this production line is going fine. We just need more. We just need more. And of course, like I said I was going to regret putting that there. It, it has happened. Presently. Or, oh, come on. Right. I mean, that's a little bit more. We're going to need a whole, a whole other line of them, though. Mm. 
Do I have those over here? I swear I saw those on something. Not really. Maybe one of these. There we go. We should also research the third tier of assembler. That would help us a, t a little bit, probably. These, these are all just marked too. Okay. Well, I mean, they're producing. They're, they're doing their thing. Okay. Um. And then what was... And then you're just... You're just cranking them out. Perfect. Uh, space Warpers. We're going back to the Space Warpers. And hopefully you're... I mean, you're getting more silicon. Wow. Uh, right, and we're not making rockets at the moment. Even our plastic? Oh, the plastic's going. Oh, plastic's like full. Wow. Okay. Now, we're making graviton lenses. Are these all even doing something? I don't see any yellow dots here. Because these take a while, right? Or no? I'm just, I can't, I'm blind. Why are I, why am I not seeing yellow dots when they're not doing stuff? Whatever. Um, oh, these are where the diamonds are going, of course. Okay, so we're making space warpers, or we're making graviton lenses. They're going away to make green science, and then green science is coming back here. Yeah, look, green science. And then, in theory, these should turn into Space Warpers. And then, okay, there's even a bunch in here. Why aren't they... You should be outputting. Oh, because our... Our power. <laughs> You're so short on power. Oh, no. Look how slowly these things are going. That's what we need to do. But that's good, because that means that this, I mean, in theory, this conveyor is going to pack. So we don't need to use all of our green science on these. Um, we'll probably do like this. But now our space warpers are going out to the universe, which is where they belong. Okay, that's one, that's one thing that was needing to be dealt with, at least. Um, I might, I'm even just gonna turn this into a tier two. Yeah. Cool. So, power. Oh, we must have got a shipment of batteries. We do have some batteries. There's another 150 coming in. Oh, I even have spots for my, my dead ones now. There we go. Hmm. 
Right, okay. So, <laughs> in theory, that's all good. Um, of course, the turbines are just gonna, just gonna get all used. But again, if we can find, if we can go to our black hole, then we will not need those for this production line. That would be very useful. All these are going. They're all, they're all going. They're all, everyone's doing something. Okay, and we're still, we're still good here. Um, but then the fuel rods, right? And fuel rods are needing titanium alloy of all things. It's not something we've needed to touch since we started making them in the first place. Which is probably why we blew through them. But that's going to be the sulfur, right? Like, we're not even using this full production line. Yeah. Um, all right. So then I think that's next. I think that's next. Let's find a sulfur planet. Because we have two... Yeah, so over here. So we're in two systems nearby. Uh, Kekuan and 38 Crateris. And this one has a planet with... Sulfuric Acid Oceans. Um, and it's not the planet that we're on, right? Which... Okay, hold on. Ocean type... Oh, it is this. It is this inner planet here. But I don't think we're... I don't think we're on that planet. I think we're just on two. Right, because that's where that's where the organic crystal is. That's why we're there. Um, this also has iron and copper and titanium and a little bit of silicon. Yeah. So let's go. Let's go set up a sulfuric ocean, sulfuric acid ocean mining facility, uh, which means we need all this. I would also like the black hole, but it's going to be way further. Let's do... I want to do the sulfuric acid first. Do I have some here? Nope. We're already... We're still using all of these particle containers. And by all, I mean... The ones we're actually succeeding to make. And our... And our batteries. These are these are fully discharging and they're not providing enough power for us anymore. And guess what? Those also need particle containers. Everything's so slow. I take eight a pop. It looks like it's all again, it's all circular because if we can get if we can get the sulfuric acid going and and not need to make sulfuric acid manually, then that will help us make the deuterium fuel rods much much more efficiently. And then we can use those for power. Right now we're only discharging batteries. We went through all those hydrogen fuel rods. So I want one interstellar logistics station. And we're gonna need we're gonna need battery dischargers just for our our operation out there, albeit you know fewer. But like three, like three or four in that in that blueprint. Uh, 
and I need, no, I need everything else. I mean, that gives me, it gives me three. Um, I guess I can look at that blueprint. It was, I've named things too similarly. There we go. So yeah, it only needs three. Now you can even see all this if you have it all in your inventory. So we we need ten more and missile launchers. Um, I'm gonna grab these while I'm here because we always need more. Um, so then I need. And then I also need to, yeah, I need to make sure we have, oh, we need to be, we need water pumps, which require more iron. <laughs> Look how close the hive is. Oh dear. And I, can I click on them? I can click on them. Look, they are that close. They're, they're a whole three AU out and I can still click on them. Kind of. I can click on some of them. Or no, point. Oh, I'm looking at something different. They are point three AU away. And even then it's like dodgy. Yeah, look at all that. And there's a humpback. It's that humpback port. And then I'm, I'm assuming all these all these on the outside are, are Lancers. Oh look, they're attacking again. But it's a planet thing, so whatever. Uh, that all looks fine. Grab a bunch of those. Clearly these are getting used too. That's what I'm trying to do. I can only make... Oh, I need more steel. Or did I... Am I, am I doing... I'm being silly? No, I do need more of those. Okay. One fractal silicon. We should be doing fractal silicon too, because that'll help with all of the other silicon stuff. So then I have two, so I just want eight of these. And then I want the little water pumps. I mean, I'm gonna do a bunch, right? I have some fuel, I have some space warpers, I have everything I need to collect a sulfur ocean. And I think that's all we're gonna do on that planet for now. We'll probably go come back for like some of that iron and stuff. But yeah, I think that's all I care about for now. So let's do let's do the thing. We can do that real quick. On on this game's time scale. Come on. Well, yes, I am just constructing missile turrets while warping through space. As you do. Did I did I pass something? Did I hold on? Hold on. 
blew right past it. I thought it was gonna... I thought it took me out... of warp when I got close. And... Whoa! There we go. <laughs> okay. That was an automatic de-warp there. So it does take you out if you're about to hit the planet. Okay. This is what I want, right? Sulfuric acid. Where are my oceans? Yeah, here we go. Where's the biggest? There's little pools. That's pretty big. It's got copper and titanium right next to it. And silicon. Okay. Uh, so that's just right by the pole there. Unfortunately, there isn't any dark fog in this system currently. Is it here? Or... I mean, both of those are pretty, pretty good. Maybe I'll just put a station in between. Right, I'll just, I'll just plop our station right here. That should be fine. Or no, I need to, yes. I want to use my blueprint for this. Uh, it can, can fit somewhere. Why is it? I thought it could fit. Maybe it's, it's just a little bit too wide to fit in our, like near a pole. Hmm. I mean, we could come down like here. This would be fine. Yeah, let's do like, let's do like here. I, this is going to remember all of its stuff, right? So it's going to remember the normal missiles. But I'm going to replace it with the fancy missiles. Uh, local demand, right? Yeah, look at that. And I just want to crank that down. Local supply. That all seems fine. We'll see if we get batteries someday. But we're we've already we're already getting missiles and space warpers inbound, so that means something's working at least. Um, and then we'll put in our our ships. I'm not gonna bother putting in the little drones because I don't know that we're gonna need to. We're just gonna have some big long conveyor belts. sure that this actually outputs the missiles. Perfect. Look at that. Supersonic missiles delivered right to your door. Now all we need are batteries. Uh, and then I need to pump. Going to pump you out. I wonder how many it takes to pack a tier 3 conveyor. Welcome, welcome, Noir. 
hello, hello. Welcome, Raiders. We're pumping sulfur, in theory. We're, we're going to attempt to pump sulfur if we get any batteries delivered. Oh, here they come. Okay, I think we're good. We're, we're going to pump some sulfur. Uh, we are... We're making it decently far into this game. We have a Dyson Sphere started and a Dyson Swarm Decaying. <laughs> we're up to one and a half gigawatts. That's something, right? Um, we need to start... Oh, that's what I need to do. That's another thing we need to do, like, soon. We have this way better than my playthrough. <laughs> that's fair. I have done this before. This isn't my first run. This is so say you're also doing, doing Dyson Sphere. Um, hopefully it's, hopefully it's enjoyable at least. Um, we, we've also put quite a few hours into this already, so. I wouldn't, I wouldn't judge yourself too harshly. Uh, right, I'm just gonna do like, I'm gonna do like, like that, I think. And then, oh, of course, it's gonna, into that, whatever. <laughs> it's fine. Uh, but we're, I mean, things are kind of tenuous still. Um, we're, we're not quite distributing as many batteries as we need, generally speaking. We're not, we're not very efficient right now. We're kind of, kind of muscling through some stuff. Um, but I think this sulfur is going to make one of our, one of our recipes more efficient. So hopefully it will help. I'm just going to do however many of these things I have. Um, but, oh, I'm, so I don't get rated very often, so I'm not always, uh, up on the etiquette. But if you need to, if you're, if you're done with your whole stream situation and need to take off and chill, then, then absolutely go for it. Um, liquid source required. Uh, otherwise, I mean, hello, hello, welcome, welcome. Um, this is what we're up to right now. Chillin, chillin and pumping. Really? That's... that's silly. Uh, let's see... yeah, raiders! We've been raided! We've got the good kind of raid today. We've also had a space raid. We have dealt with a, a dark fog space raid today. That was fun. That actually went better than expected. Um, well, of course this is gonna, like... be backwards. Give me all your streams. <laughs> this is a raid. <laughs> Stick them up. <laughs> That's what the dark fog are all are like, right? They just show up and, and start demanding stuff. All right, I'm just gonna do that and then hook them together. I mean, I'm, we're pumping. Clearly, we got some batteries. My name is Red. That makes me the fastest. <laughs> Clearly. Clearly. Uh, there we go. Sulfur remote supply local demand. That's that's going to work. Um, then this is like just the wrong spot, isn't it? I'm gonna clean this up a little bit. Space works, yes. They they got a big rock up there and everything. Uh, so this is just gonna go around, and then you go here. I have no idea how balanced these conveyors are. Other than just fill her up. Get more bigger guns. We did just recently get bigger guns. We've researched the uh, the supersonic missiles. We have upgraded our missiles. 
Okay, so this conveyor can clearly hold more. And then this is probably just still draining, right? Yeah, okay. But we're we're good. We can get we can get even more. Um, I have I have ten more ten more bumps. Your sister murdered your son? Oh no. We've also been talking about Crusader Kings. <laughs> so there's some there's some very different stories going on. I think I can quite... Can I get them all in here? Without screwing up my... Not quite. I mean, this is just... What is this? This is... Titanium? I think we're okay on titanium. I'm gonna... Get in the ground, please. Who could have seen the betrayal coming? This should be enough silicon, or not silicon, enough sulfur for a good bit. This will be a, this will be a lot. That's what we need. Oh no, I'm not gonna have enough. I'm not gonna have enough conveyors. Oh, and I'm not gonna be able to make them. I can make one. <laughs> Well, we'll have to come back here someday. Um, and of course, you're in just the wrong position. Genuinely, I trusted her. I made her spy master. I have no idea why she did it. She's in jail now. Because she's spy master. You never trust the spy master. That's rule number one. Okay. We're getting some sulfur. I wonder if that's even going to be enough. That might be enough even just the tier two. Kind of close. Uh, off to bed. Thanks for the stream. Yeah, of course. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for coming by. Um, we're making... We are making progress. We are solving problems one at a time here. Uh, so I appreciate you coming by and, and keeping me company. And not go completely batty. <laughs> so so have a good night and I'll I'll see you later in the week. We'll be we'll be doing this more on Thursday. Look at all that. Okay, so then that's all of my that's all my pumps. Um and we got I mean we got batteries, we got missiles, we got sulfur. I think that is a successful planet. We're gonna go back home. Um actually I'm gonna check on let's check here. Make sure everything's going fine. I mean, I just saw a ship leave, so I I think we're good. But while we're here, probably good practice to just check up on our planets. So how, so if, if you're still here, uh, oh dang it, what, what was your name? Noir. Uh, what, I mean, how far in, how far in are you? What are you working on? How many, how many cubes do you have? Uh, okay. This all, I mean, there's, there's iron. It's probably, do you need, you need more drones? Or no, you don't even. It's probably all full back at the station, right? 
Look, we got our got our batteries. Oh, and we should swap swap over our uh, our missiles, shouldn't we? Can I just can I hold all those? Not quite. Uh, supersonic missiles, please. And then remote demand. There we go. What is going on here? Um, and then, of course... There's gonna be a, a bunch on... on the conveyor. I might not care, though. I might just let them go through... <laughs> the... the missiles on the belt. I mean, this station... this... this system doesn't even have... a dark fog base, so I think it's fine. Um, and I'll just ferry these back home manually. Yeah, so we're, we got, I mean, we got silicon. And you aren't using all your ships. And I think we have another interstellar station over here. And yeah, we're, we're good. We're good. Yeah, we're getting, we're getting raw organic crystal right off the ground. So this system is fine. Go, let's go back home. Try not to overshoot it this time. Uh, and then the next step, I think I'm I'm gonna spend a moment. Well, I'm gonna make sure that the the sulfur is being received on our planet. I guess that's a that's a thing we have to do. Um, but then we're gonna have to do some Dyson sphere design work to make sure that our solar sails don't go to waste. I think we have we probably have a whole bunch decaying like presently. We've. Not presently, but we have lost at least one one of these chunks. So the less that happens, the better. Oh look, we're up to we're seventy percent of the way to another assault on the Dyson Sphere system. We had one at the start of the stream. And we should also research things that don't take green cubes. I think there are, there's probably some upgrades and stuff uh, that don't take the greens that we can, that we can get going. Um, in fact, let's take, let's take a look at that right now. Care about these? Those don't, those don't take greens. Those the tier three. Whatchamahoos it's? Um, it's gonna be another three thousand greens to, to get more, but I mean, we're, we're good for now. That takes greens. Uh, special miners take greens. What is this for? Oh, special, uh, like better, better chemical plants. Could work on those on oh, proliferators. We should do proliferators. Uh, I don't, I don't care about that. I don't care about a lot of these. And like these? I feel like I should use these. I'm gonna I'm gonna queue it up just because I know we have all those cubes. Um like a lot of these are gonna take whites, which we do not have yet. Uh inventory capacity takes greens. Uh but more more construction drones, that's good. Um, and 
faster drones. And, and that's going to take whites, right? Yeah. Uh, and then these. A lot. Um, pile sorter upgrades. That's right. That stuff that I really don't do very often. Uh, that takes greens. That does not, though, actually. Let's do that. Yeah, that's actually kind of huge. Um, and then re these are also good, but I'm not going to over queue myself. I think that's going to be good for now. Um, so now, sulfur needs to be brought in from off planet. And I think I have a spot in. There's a... I mean, I have to be careful about where I put this, right? Like we could do this. This is clearly, this is clearly fine. This is the station that's providing our entire star cluster with space warpers. But it appears to be fine. Um, and it's also a re receiving the grading crystal. So then let's receive. Sulfuric acid. Especially as we upgrade our logistics vessels, that'll just become better. Yeah, I mean, we can almost fill... can almost fill the station just with those 10, 10 vessels. So... That's fine. And then we come back over to where we're using the sulfur. This is going to... This is going to demand. And this can hold more. Um, oh, and it can also hold what's in my inventory. Um, so then... I don't need to make sulfur anymore, right? I'm going to stop, I'm going to stop making sulfuric acid. Alright, this was taken, these three things. The space, the space will get used for something. Oh, <laughs> my inventory's full. Uh, yeah, whatever. It's fine. <laughs> uh, and then, oh, and I'm out of the, I'm out of the nice conveyors. Uh, but sulfur is just gonna come out like this. And that's gonna help. Um, and I'm gonna increase this as well, but I wanna, <laughs> I wanna deal with this first. Um, can I... I mean, it's, it's literally rocks and sulfur. Oh, there are conveyor belts there. Um, I'm gonna get rid of all the missiles in my inventory. <laughs> 99 plus. Yeah, I know. Uh, so then if I go over to here... Yeah. Um, so I'm gonna take all of these normal missiles and plop them in. And then those will get turned into better missiles. Slowly. Right? Yeah, you're everything's slow because power, but it'll it'll keep going. We're working on it. We are working on the things that will solve that problem. Just move all this up real quick. Oops. Uh, oil and water. I mean, water. Well, 
give a brick about now, do I? Um, this is like, this is hydrogen. Mm. Okay. Uh, <laughs> there's no, there's no space for things. Good. Good, good, good. Um, how about I just... I'm gonna make a junk tank. I just want it off the ground and out of my inventory. That's close enough. And like the water. I'm not we're not even do I even need water for anything on this planet anymore? Um and then this I mean this at least can can go in here. That'll work for that. That'll that'll work eventually. Um, and of course, like now, so this should reverse. And... Hooray! These just... Don't... Do nothing now. Hooray! Now there's... Rocks there that aren't going anywhere, but that's also fine. I don't... I don't care. I don't care. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. Um, the thing I care about is this. But it's going now. It is, you know, slowly. Are you like? It's just, it's just because everything is slow. Because we're at fifteen percent sufficiency. Oh man. Ugh. And this is the thing that I need for the fuel rods. So I am gonna be... I'm gonna be... risky. How is my power working here? That's not gonna work. That's a little bit better, right? It's got all the sulfur it could need. It's just gonna consume all my all my power. We need to put down more dischargers, which need this. <laughs> uh, so I'm gonna do I'm gonna do this, and then we're also using this for for the. Dyson Sphere components, which, I mean, should be at capacity, right? Is this... Oh, but this is still going. Because this is turning into these components, which are just going forever. Ah! That's, that's the thing. That's a thing. Well, we're good on these for a little bit. That's the deuterium fuel rods that are holding us up there because of course they are. Uh, but now in theory, these will be going directly to our, our fuel rods now. Which is where they need to go. 
Um, uh, and I need these. Of course. Uh, that's over here, though. Yeah, look, there's a whole thing of green. So in theory, the excess is turning into... will we'll just be science. Um, steel, 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 steel. Oh, are we running low on steel? Oh my goodness. We haven't had to touch steel in quite a while, have we? Um, and then this is running into sorter issues. So I'll just upgrade those. Before I get these, uh, give these tier two belts. So that'll, that'll help a bit, but you know. Wow. Uh, if I wanted to make a bunch more of those, yeah, let's do... Ugh, is there still... I'm using... Using all but one, and I would need two. And it's because of the space warpers. I have to rearrange a bunch of stuff. But we're gonna need more... We're gonna need more steel. We're gonna need more steel. This is me being careful and not making too many things. <laughs> to make the, prob the power problem worse. You have a spot, you don't have a spot. You're you're fine. And we're not like this station doesn't need space warpers. It's just providing them to here. But I mean it's fine. We're gonna do local local demand. And remote storage. Right, because I'm not this. I don't want this to be sending out space warpers to the rest of the system. I want this just receiving space warpers for itself. Um, so then that opens up a spot. And I'm gonna need more tier three conveyors. This takes out iron. And this is steel going in. Okay, I'm gonna go grab more conveyors. Goodness. On oh, proliferators, that's maybe that's a next stream thing, but if we can get if we can get our fundamentals rock solid, then Proliferators are going to help as well. And then... Oh, and I did it the wrong way. I want these over here. Uh, okay, so then it's gonna be like like this, right? Steel going in. And then this is iron coming out. 
then this iron comes out to here. And then this steel goes back in. Perfect. We have doubled our steel production. Can I make more of these? Nope, need more of that. All right, that should be fine. I mean, this doesn't even need to be here at all now, right? That can just, just be in my inventory. Oh, but I need to fix. Because this was... Yeah, so now I want space warpers coming out of here. Going to our other station. Okay. Now. Back to what I was doing a second ago. Just making more, more battery dischargers. That's, that's honestly what we need right now. I mean, it's, it's doing the thing. <laughs> we need processors. Oh. Uh, but we'll, we'll plug this back in. short on here. I see packed conveyors going in. Probably just the power. They're all working. It's just slow because everything's slow. Because we're at 15% power. Pain. Pain and suffering. I'll put us at 6. If I can get 8... I think another eight would be good. I think that's what we have currently. Forty processors a piece. Wow. Want well, the cat cam stayed on? I have an automatic cat cam, usually. One more. Here we go. Of course, it leaves me with zero processors for whatever else I'm going to do, but... One thing at a time. Look, our, yeah, we're going to get hit again. 83%. For real, and now it's level one. Last time it was level zero. The 
But like now we're good, like space warpers. We're full on space warpers. Everyone's got all the space warpers they need. Everyone's got space warpers. That's that's good. Running out of space warpers would be very bad. I'm glad to have that a little more secure. But now this is being... Uh, yeah. And we're out of batteries. Are we just running off of off of geothermal now? That's probably part of the problem. Um, but I'm gonna basically duplicate this. batteries like this and then dead batteries like this so now when we have batteries we'll we'll be able to use them much more or discharge them faster because clearly that's what we need to be doing So that, I mean, that's gonna help. And then hopefully we have, we have more batteries coming. Goodness. Is that gonna be enough to turn all these on? Maybe not quite. It's gonna be close. Like one or two. <laughs> and there's more coming. And these are these are still at their max. They're still not that's still not gonna be quite enough, is it? That's gonna be better though. Um, okay, so now I'm gonna take a moment to design. Cause we're about to lose a whole bunch of our swarm. So I need to open up our shell, right? And then so I've, I've researched once so we can we can build within this band here, like this whole like the equator was all we could do before. But now we can do all of this. And I don't know what I don't know what the whole thing's going to look like. I might get funky with what the sphere looks like in the long run. But right now we just need to get something in here. For for a reason. Um, and then there's like. Do I want geodesic or do I want grid graticule? Um, and then we just need to make polygons. Um, so I think, I mean, what happened? Why? Like, what's the difference? I go like this. Is that? I mean, it just makes a straight line. I think I'm gonna do like a sawtooth thing to start with, and then we can turn these into panels. You plan a Dyson shell. Once the nodes and frames on the shell are built, the solar cells will be automatically attached and form the Dyson shell. Each solar cell provides one solid. You can check the cell phones required for the Dyson shell. I don't know that, like, I might not make the whole sphere look like this. The last time I did this, I, I made the whole sphere look basically just this whole pattern all the way around. But, uh, well, we might get more funky. But right, like, right now, we just need these panels to exist. 
so that the swarm has a home. And I could do, I could do something funky, right? What if I did like this? <laughs> yeah, let's do this. I like this. Just a big old zigzag. funky there we go so now the swarm goes in right do I need to do anything else yeah no there they go yeah they're doing it there they go look at them go we're probably gonna still lose some but they all have they all have a place to go now. Yeah, look at them We're coming out of orbit and going into the shell. Yeah. Now, now we have begun the sphere. We have begun the shell. Now. We're at two gigawatts, and we're, we're probably we're gonna lose some here, right? Not all of these are gonna make it in, but like these should all just plug in, and they're just made permanently, and they're gonna add to our power production forever from now on. And we're, I mean, at this point, we're only requesting half of our power from our Dyson sphere. Dyson Swarm power generation. The Swarm is producing three quarters of that. Wow. It is a pretty big Swarm, though. But look at it. We're going to have to go out and see what this looks like in person, because this this also looks fantastic in person. But they're all, they all go into these little nodes. Like they plug in and they, and they, and they go in. Um, oh, and the, the shells had all these different patterns too, right? I just did the default. Can I change these? Which one do I want? These are all pretty good. Can I make these? I don't know that I can change them now. Well. You've built a Dyson Sphere cell. Okay. That is one thing dealt with. Um, but clearly, we need to be charging more batteries, right? Which I think we need to be receiving more rays, because we're only requesting... We're only requesting a third of our power. So we need more ray receivers, and we need to go out and put them down. Which is... Look! Processors and silicon. Yay. Uh, but maybe hopefully our... I wonder if our... This is going. Okay. Still still slow. Um, I should hold... I mean, I should grab some of these for myself, realistically. Fortunately, they last a good while. But then those turn into rockets. 
And the plan was to like burn these for fuel as well to supplement the batteries. But I, th I don't know that we're gonna produce enough to, out, like are we gonna produce an excess of these ever? Um, let's go over to where we're using them. I mean, we might, we might produce an excess. I guess we can check. Yeah, okay. We're now making more fuel rods than we're using. So instead of increasing this, I'm just gonna let this go at its current rate. It's getting it's getting all of its stuff. I think all of these are pretty solid now. These we're gonna have forever because we accidentally made the whole stack. Um, but that means making a thing for burning deuterium, which is these. Hey, look, they also require processors. This is the telltale sign of slow sorters. Are we cranking through our titanium now? Oh, well, I should grab some of these because I, I need them now, right? Um, I just need also other things. There's some processors. So I want fusion power plants, which need those things, okay. How much do these even do? 15 megawatts? And I'm worried that we're, like, to make a, to make a dent, we're gonna need so many. Uh, is that, that's these. Hey, look, that all balanced out. I'll make, I'll make like six. Uh, what was I, what did I just run out of? Oh, these things, yes. Which seem okay now, shockingly. Uh, yeah, okay, so now I can make make six more. So I'll make eight total. I think that works. And I'm just gonna... This is where we were burning hydrogen. I'm just gonna take these up. This will request deuterium fuel rods. We'll see if it ever gets any. Okay, now we need to bake a handful of these.
Hey, look, some fuel to burn. There we go. And these should... I mean, yeah, I mean, they, they take a while to burn through. But it, it's only producing 15 megawatts. Like, it would take... I mean, it's like... You would need, like, four just to match one of these. And these aren't, like, we don't have enough of these even. We just need, we just need more batteries. We just need more batteries. Oh, and then you should not do that. And there's just like a couple random <laughs> hydrogen fuels. Uh, and then water and rocks. Whatever. Okay. Hopefully that's all good now. Um, I think the main thing is just more more ray receivers and and scaling all that so that we have enough power for all of our junk. Like I, yeah, we got a bunch of space warpers. I'm just gonna plop those in there. I uh, don't need these. We're not getting strange matter. Oh, and that's gonna be because of the turbines. What's holding you up now? I swear it's endless. Right? Turbines, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now you're low on engines because... Because why? You have all your stuff. You're just being slow. Because cause power? Is it all just power? You want to start upgrading things to to tier three factories, but those are gonna consume more power. We are we're consuming a gigawatt on this one planet. But in theory, we have a gigawatt and a half. Um, I want to make sure that we're still making solar sails. Those are... Somewhere? Those are here? Yeah. Hmm. Have we stopped making solar sails? Or are we just finally... This is finally not enough. This is what we've been doing this whole time. Um, I mean, power being its own thing, obviously, but uh, clearly we can upgrade this. Those anywhere near here. 
or there. Logistics capacity, that'll help some things. And then processors. That'll be that'll be a little bit better. We're back up to fifty percent. Um. So yeah, ray receivers. I think that's. <laughs> I think that's our thing right now. We just need to be catching those rays and charging those batteries. Look at that. Fortunately, those only those only take five processors each. And look, silicon. Can I get rid of these rocks, please? And this water. I mean, that's that helped, I guess. steel. And look at all this. That helped. <laughs> there is more steel now. We're going to get we're going to get hit on that planet again. We're going to have to go out there just to just to make sure it's all defended. Like for a second time this stream. That is bonkers. How many do I make? I want to, like, we need a bunch. We need a bunch. Okay, maybe we'll call that good for now. Um, I have space warpers, I have fuel, I have a, a fleet. Um, let's, let's make one last trip. Make sure our, our sphere is good. And we'll see what it looks like with all those things getting plugged in. Um, right, I want to land here. Yeah, two, two space assaults in one stream. That's what we're in for now. one do you think it's gonna be more ships bigger ships squawk 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 meow meow they're telling me it's food time and i'm aware
We're gonna have to get white cubes going. Just so we can make this trip in one hop. <laughs> it's kind of absurd. Uh, I mean, let's look at our research. We're because we we cranked through all that very very quickly. Uh, we can increase planetary shield efficiency. Everyone damage resisted consumes energy. Okay, so that just helps us consume less power per per attack. Um, I mean, space fleet expansion. That seems cool. Let's, yeah, let's get some of these queued up. And then, and then ground squad. Um, I mean, that's cheap enough, I guess. Why not? Yeah, I mean, I mean, why not? And then our explosives. We're, we're doing explosives for sure. I think bird ships is unlikely, but not impossible. Bird ships? You mean like, um... You mean like what they look visually like, or...? <laughs> I don't know which one you mean. Because there was the lancers and the humpbacks, right? You were making a squawking nose. Oh, I, yeah. I'm squawking at the cat. I don't know if her squawks are showing up. We're still 13 out. Mars are asking for snack time too, I'm sure. Are they not always? Sybil at least waits usually until food time. Every once in a while it'll be like 3.30 and she comes by squawking. Like, no. That's not how this works. You can just very faintly make out our sphere from here and our swarm. Look, you can see you can see a line here and you can see a circle. We're 13 AU out and you can see our junk. They are usually excited to ask for food if they think they might succeed. <laughs> I don't know, I've I've, I've reinforced their uh, their failures pretty consistently. But they still keep squawking. Of course, I don't like to know which planet they're gonna try to attack, right? Look at this. Look at this. Yeah. It begins. Oh, it looks so good. You can, as they, you can see them. They plug into these little nodes, and then they they grow out all the actual panel parts. Look at them, it's like this whole... yeah. It's like particle physics, but we made every single one of the particles. Oh, hi. Uh, and we beat their... beat their attack. Uh, oh, I want to go this way, duh. <laughs> yeah, look at it from the ground. <laughs> <laughs> So we are currently, just for reference, we are charging at 500 megawatts. We are generating 600, and that is requesting 700 and generating twice that. 
So, yeah, these are these are getting everything that they're requesting. I brought and we're still within our, our little base here and our signal tower and our shield perfect okay and then now we are requesting almost a gigawatt we are almost requesting all of our power that means we are charging at 600, is that is that all the chargers we have? Or all the capacity we have? Nope, here they come. Um, nope, we could charge more. Where are you not? Oh, some of these aren't outputting batteries. Wow, that's important. You're all good, okay. Well, that'll help a little bit, um, but they are... Where... where are you? It's... Is it this? It's another five vessels. Yep, there they are. Uh, so they're going... they're going to the other planet. We can beat them there. And now we have better missiles. Now we should like, now we should go harass them. Just buzz by them and give them a present or two. And we never actually lost uh, a thing. Can I can I put more than one in here? Nope. Small ships only. We need, we're gonna have to make some more more vessels. <laughs> here, hello. Oh, and there's my ship. Just wow. <laughs> They're, oh, they're hitting my stuff, that's for sure. Oh! But we got them! Look at that! We did it! We knocked them out of the sky! And we... Oh, I see, it did take some damage. It, it took like a third of its health and damage. That's not bad. Okay. Success! Great success. And I came here to defend it. There's actually nothing we need to do here. Alright, do you all have... Do you all have sails? They're just waiting for, for line of sight. Which is hilarious, because... I mean, it sure looks like they have line of sight. Um, something we could do, so we're only, we're launching on like this North Pole, right? We could set up a similar thing down on this other side. Then in theory, one side will always have line of sight. Um, but of course we'll have to make more launchers and we'll probably need to make more, more sail production and, and et cetera, et cetera. But, 
But we've come full circle. We This is like exactly where we started the stream. Looking out on our Dyson Sphere. Um, and now... And now it's going. Now it's it's all getting plugged in. Look at that. <laughs> it's gonna be gigantic. Um, but we don't even have like our swarm is essentially. Oh hi! Thank you for the follow. Our swarm is essentially empty. Our swarm is making it into the sphere. Yeah, attaching. Nine, we have 1,900 sails in the process of, of attaching, and there's just 200 in orbit. And that's going down. That's perfect. We are now requesting a gigawatt. We are receiving or attempting to receive a gigawatt of power on a planet. Uh, and if we look at our entire star cluster, we are charging 690 megawatts, and we are discharging 900. Oh, <laughs> we are discharging a gigawatt's worth of batteries. Oh man! So clearly, we need to be charging. We need to be charging a gigawatt of of batteries at least. So this is like swinging. Charging is just going up. This line, this line goes up, and that's going to be the one that's important. It's interesting that we're discharging like this. This, To me, this says that all the places that want batteries don't have batteries, because they're getting them and then going through them. But you can see as those ray receivers uh, like continuously receive, the longer they receive continuously, they generate more power. So this is going up just a little bit more. Uh, and then if we look at this system, if I look at our inner planet, yeah, we're, we are charging at 700. Yeah, we're just gonna do that more. More of everything. But the things are happening. We're we're launching rockets. I think that's what that is. Yeah, we're we're making rockets. We're launching sails. We're launching rockets. Yeah. Look, we're even. We're even backed up a bit on on launchers. We could launch them faster. We we're gonna have to go back home to make more launchers. But we are actually making enough rockets to satisfy four launchers. That's new. And our and our sphere is looking great. It's looking great. Look at that. I'm happy. I'm happy. I think I did. I think we did what I wanted to do today. Um, we finished that really important research, which means the sails are now going into the sphere, um, and they are doing so. So we'll no longer have decaying solar sails. They're all just every sail that gets launched should just plug right in, and we're not going to lose anything. We're we're receiving a lot more power. We're charging a lot more power. Um, we're making. We're making more fuel rods at home. We're making more space warpers. We're making space warpers much more efficiently, I should say. Um, we're we're getting sulfur from off off planet now. We're we're bringing in sulfur from another star system. I think it's all it's all gonna come together. It's all coming together. But also, it's food time. Uh, 
Uh, yeah. Hi. Um, we'll we'll wrap up there. But I'm I'm excited. I think as the power becomes more stable, which it's going to, because we just I mean, as long as we can charge enough batteries, then then that'll be fine, right? Um, everything that we have is running off of batteries. We just need to charge them fast enough. Um, and we just took a major, major step to making sure that happens because we won't be losing our solar sails. They're just going to go straight into the sphere and we're going to receive that power and charge batteries with it. And it's going to be good. It's going to be good. Um, there's still a handful of things that we aren't doing. Um, we should mess with prol proliferators. Proliferators would help a ton right now. I think we're right at that phase where, you know, we have a bit of everything going. So then proliferators would like just add percentages to everything that we're doing um, as like a multiplier. So that would be very helpful. Um, I definitely want to go out to a black hole and get some magnetic model poles because that's going to be great for one specific uh, recipe that is turning out to be quite important. Um, those particle containers, we can simplify those. We can make particle containers, which are important, not need turbines, which we've been choked on the whole game. By just by by shipping something in from a black hole. So that will help a ton as well. Um, and then I think there's probably other. There's a couple of other exotic materials. Um, there's the thing for diamonds. There's the there's the uh, the sil the fractal silicon, right? And the kimberlite. And is that all of them? That's the two ones I'm thinking of. We definitely want those. But I mean, the magnetic monopoles, kimberlite, and fractal silicon. That's going to be a good chunk of it. We can get all that going. We'll be in pretty good shape. That and proliferators, and we'll be in good shape. I think so. I think so. Um, so come by on Thursday, and we're going to work on that. We're just going to keep on cranking them out. The line is going to keep going up. How about that? Uh, today's episode was brought to you by the shadow of the Dyson Sphere. Locking out the sun for the entire solar system. Hooray. But also you, clicking those buttons down there and hanging out and lurking and joining the discord and doing all that fun stuff um that's that's what's blocking out my sun right now that's what keeping that's what's keeping me from getting sunburned this is the ultimate sunscreen isn't it there ain't you ain't, ain't any new ways getting through that thing we're all gonna be so pale paler than usual <laughs> um but yeah come by thursday and we're gonna keep working on that and then come by Saturday, and we're gonna do a, a dwarf fortress speedrunny type thing. That'll be fun too. Um, and then come by next week, and we're just we're gonna keep cranking out Dyson Sphere until we've until we've accomplished it, until we're done. Do it till it's done. Uh, so yeah, that's that's me. That's me rambling. Um, hope we have a good hope we have a good week, and I'll see you later this week. And I hope you stay kind.